What's up, Taurus? It's Gina with Witchy Girl Tarot, and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today's reading is for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and also Venus. Please keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Taurus that is watching, but I do have faith that Spirit brought you here for a reason. If you're new to the channel, I want to invite you to hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the bell so you don't miss any of the notifications coming from this channel. We're going to take a look at what's going on with you this month, Taurus. Let me see what's going on. Um, we're going to take a look at love. We're going to take a look at what you're facing this month. What is turning their back on you? What obstacles you may be facing? All right. So we have one card already. Oh, two cards thrown on. Okay. All right. We have three cards here. So currently, Taurus, we have the Page of Swords here. Okay. So we see you learning something new. We see you learning something new or embarking on a new journey that requires a lot of knowledge, okay? And the Three of Wands is about a move that you are thinking about making, about expanding something. It may be traveling. It may be something as serious as actually moving. Some of you guys are thinking of moving overseas or to where there's a lot of water. I feel like you're educating yourself on all of the things that are going to take place when you make that move. So I feel like you're looking up the area where you're thinking about moving in, you're thinking about what's around there, the area you're thinking about moving up, uh, moving into, you're thinking about what jobs are around there, and you're thinking about moving into somewhere where it is very, very sunny, baby. You are really craving the sun, Taurus, okay? Um, so some of you guys are, are, are planning something. You're planning a move or planning some kind of vacation in the sun, Taurus, all right? How do you feel right now? What is your energy? Okay, let's see with the hanged one here, the hanged man, you see you holding on to something. Okay, what are you holding on to? Hmm, all right, all right. So we see you wanting to travel into something that is warm and sunny and moving on to something. And it is because you're holding on to something, some kind of pain that transpired, okay? And this may be in the form of a relationship. It may be the loss of a job or a relationship with the Five of Pentacles. We see two people in the sun, which is contrary to the sun card, okay? So we see two people struggling out there in the cold, in the in the snow, okay? And there's the Five of Pentacles is all about loss, okay? A loss of a job, a loss of a relationship, something that you valued a lot. And with the Nine of Swords, they're coming out. There's stress. You're trying to sleep at night and you're having a hard time catching your Zs. You're having a hard time finding tranquility, mindfulness, and peace at night and it is that is the reason why you're tra you're thinking about traveling or moving because you're like i can't feel like this anymore it's done i'm tired of this situation i'm tired of this old energy i need something new all right okay all right taurus what is the obstacle the real obstacle okay we already see what it is it's about love here yep so love with a an air sign a king of swords someone who is an aquarius a Gemini or a Libra. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Yes. Okay. What about this situation? Okay. All right. All right. So it looks like there's two suitors here. Two of cups, two suitors. Okay. You're stressed out about some kind of situation when it comes to love with the king of swords. Someone who's of an air sign or someone with the king of cups, someone who is a water sign. Okay, so these are the this is the obstacle going on here. It looks like you're in between um, two people. Your heart is in two places, and you're thinking to yourself, "I either you want to move on with the King of Swords, or you want to move on with the King of Cups, or this person may be just the same person. They just have both of these. They may have a lot of air in their chart, a lot of water in their chart, but you're confused with this. It's like two people are coming after your heart, or your heart's in two places." Let's see. Yeah. 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 There's definitely with the three pentacles coming up. There's definitely a love triangle going on. Taurus. Yeah. So it looks like some of you guys moved into a new relationship, but you're still holding on to somebody from your past. So this person from your past could be the King of Swords or the King of Cups. Okay. With the three of pentacles, there's definitely a love triangle going on there, Taurus. It's like your heart is in one. It's, it's, um, it's in two places at once. And um, although that sounds really cool in some situations, it, it's not always good because that's why you're feeling stressed out. You're feeling like, um, it's like a sense of not wanting to let, there's like a, not wanting to let someone go. And that's why we have the five of pentacles there because you realize, wow, this chapter with this person is, is closing 
and I'm starting something new with someone else, like the Nine of Swords, and it stresses you out, okay? All right, well, how does this King of Swords feel about you? Okay, the King of Swords is confused right now. This person has a lot on their table, a lot on their plate. But I feel like what I'm getting is Taurus, this person who's coming in that you really, that really, really likes you, you may not like them the way that you like, that they like you. I feel like they may be a really nice girl or a nice guy and they're like, you're like, wow, okay, I've been hurt before by this other guy, the King of Swords, or maybe the King of Cups, switch it around how you feel fits. But this person is someone that really, really likes you and wants to give you like, the best of them and somehow you're still like stressed out about this person in the end and i feel like it's because you're having to accept that it's completely over and you're like wow like another i'm going into another relationship okay now this three of pentacles why is this three of pentacles showing up the three of pentacles is showing up because of the seven of pentacles i feel like you waited a really long time with this situation i feel like you've been you've been you've been feeling like this for some time Okay, I feel like although you've moved on with someone new, you still feel like connected to this person. You still feel like your heart is still in another place because we did see with the hanged one card, you're still holding on to something. You're holding on to the loss of someone that you really grieve for, that's really, really stressed you out. But as I said, with the three of pentacles then coming in, it's like that three-party energy, that triangle is like you, you waited, you've been, you've been feeling like this for some time, Taurus. Now let's clarify these cards. All right, let's clarify these cards with my Love Oracle. I'm using the Love Oracle by Soul Reflections. It's by Nadine Swigger. All right, why is this Two of Cups showing up? Okay, all right. We went into what the obstacle is. The obstacle is about love. Love with the King of Swords and love with the King of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, which is the love triangle. Okay, show me why this Two of Cups is showing up. Why is this two of cups showing up? Why is this two of cups showing up? Why is this two of cups showing up? Okay, so the two of cups is showing up because of weather out the storm. This is the card that came out underneath that two of cups card. So this is about your love life. It's like you're having to weather out the storm. You're having to really think to yourself, damn, I need to move on from this past relationship. And, and I can't keep giving this three party, three love energy to the person that really wants me now. So it's like you're going through that storm. You're going through the ugly parts of healing, okay? And then we have this King of Swords energy here, which is the person from the past, okay? The person that's really confused on how they feel about you. Their energy is everywhere. Please Clarify this King of Swords energy around as long as well as the Seven of Cups. Yeah. Hurtful words. This is someone who hurts you in the past, okay? And this King of Cups is someone who views you as the Queen of Wands. They think you're beautiful. They um they really think you're beautiful. They think you're powerful. They think you're so fertile and creative, and everything you touch is just golden. Now, how does this person, King of Cups, truly feel about you? Okay divine feminine look at that they do in fact see you as divine feminine taurus they this may be sound really funny but i feel like this person would suck farts out of your butt okay this person thinks you are everything but then the three of pentacles card comes in and that's like your heart is in like it's in in two different places okay and you've been doing that for some time please clarify the three of pentacles and the seven of pentacles card why is this showing up listen listen it says listen to the songs in your heart that's that conversation that you're having with yourself right now that conversation of damn yo i'm in a relationship with someone else and like i'm still i'm still thinking about the person from the past my heart is still in a different place although it should be completely here and that's what you're doing right now you're listening to the songs in your heart and that you're just like i i have to be real with myself my heart is in another place okay now what are you still holding on to with the hang one card? What are you still holding on to? Yeah. Yeah. So you're still holding on to someone who felt like your twin flame and you're still with the friends card. You stay, still may be speaking to this person. You're still in connection with this person. 
although you know you can't have a future with this person the twin flames card is like this person makes you i feel like this person makes your brain mush taurus they really, really make your brain mush. And it's because with the twin flames card, you guys both think alike. When someone's actually your twin flame, that means you guys are literally, like your DNA, spiritual DNA is like split in half. You mirror each other. So it's like you both are hanging on to each other. And that's the reason why there's some friendship there. And there's like that five of pentacles. It's like the loss of actually being together because you're in a relationship now and that, 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 that boat has sailed. Okay. Five of Pentacles, what was the loss about? What does this loss have to do with? Trust issues. This had to do with trust issues, Taurus. Okay, that's what that loss was. So the reason why you and this person did not last was because there was trust issues. Then we see the Nine of Swords, you stressed out. What were you stressed out about? Could be the trust issues again. What were you stressed out about? mask is on mask is on so it says things are not what they seem okay so mask is on when someone has a mask on it's like they're putting up a front it's like you feel like that person is like giving saying one thing and doing another so that's why you were stressed out and i feel like that's what you're also doing it's like you're not over the situation with your ex and so there's like you're in a new relationship so you have a mask on and that i'm happy but in reality you're still thinking about this person but your advice is release and let go Release and let go of the situation. And then its gate is open. We have three cards. Take a leap of faith, walk through. So this is about you taking a leap of faith, Taurus. You leaving this situation, putting it behind you. And embracing what's in front of you right now, Taurus. You know, it's time to take the mask off. Release and let go of old energy that's no longer serving you. And the gate is open. The door is open for you to let that shit go. You have a clear entrance with lots of lights. It can't be missed. All you have to do is walk through it. Now, what is your advice? What is your advice? Okay. That's one deck. What is your advice via the tarot? What is your advice I mean, via the oracle? Let's see. What is your advice via the moon oracle? Please show me what is Taurus's advice via the moon oracle. Look at that. All right. So your advice, Taurus, is the magician card. The magician card. This means using all you have, all the energy that you have inside of you, everything that has to, 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 to be Everything that you have to give, okay, to overcome the odds of this situation, which means to heal from this situation and, like we saw earlier, release and let go of the situation. And then we see with the action card, your advice, take action. Stop focusing on the past. Stop putting your energy into the past, Taurus. This is about going forward, not looking back. And not, because I feel like when you're, when you're looking back, it's like, you're, you're pausing for a second. And with the action card, it's telling you to take action, to actually take forward motion, move, do something, switch the energy around, Taurus. Because if you don't do that, you're going to find yourself in limbo in every situation that comes. You have to confront the issue, Taurus. You have to go through the overcoming the odds and weathering out the storm. And then the action and the magician card, using all you have, everything to that you have to give, and applying it to what you truly want for yourself, Taurus. Do you want happiness or do you want to be in limbo? You have the decision, okay? It is your choice, Taurus. That is the conclusion of this week's video or this month's video. I will do a bonus video for the Taurus sign if it is the most viewed video. So if you want to help this video be seen, just give this video a like, uh, a thumbs up. And it also helps this video and channel be seen. I'm sending you guys lots of love and life, Taurus. You've got a lot to do this month, but I'm sending you good vibes. Bye.